Hi everyone. Um, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about being toxic and how to recognize symptoms of being a bit toxic. Uh, this was a good lesson for myself the other day um, as well. <laughs> Hence why I want to bring the information to you. Um, I woke up the other morning um, and I knew I had loads of stuff to do so I was just really getting on with the work that I had to do and had my juice uh, I think I had another juice after that and then I just got on with the work and I really um, just kind of forgot to drink anything I kept making cups of herbal tea um, a really nice mint and licorice tea that I bought the other day and I kept making the tea and then realizing that I hadn't drunk it and an hour would go by and then the, the tea would be cold and so I'd start again I don't know how many tea bags I went through um, got my little girl from school, sorted her out, um, I think I had one glass of water and just the thing is, is by the time I'd gotten to that point I felt awful, I had brain fog, um, I felt as if my head was getting a bit squashed, um, tired and just really not with it but there's, there's a certain feeling that I get when I know that I'm toxic and I realized that actually the day before I hadn't really drunk an awful lot either um, so it's really really important to make sure <laughs> you're drinking enough water and enough juice and enough herbal tea and not forget it um, and it was just amazing that the difference that it made in you know to my day I've, you know, I've been on fire really recently, I've been had a lot of energy, I've not had to sleep very much and that day was just pretty horrible. Um, and anyway, so I thought, what am I going to do to remedy this? So one is movement. Make sure you move because a lot of the diseases that we end up with are actually stored in the lymph and you're, you're, know, and you're all in the lymph glands and it's not like the blood that just moves, pumps around your body. We need to move in order for the lymph to move to get rid of all this stuff and rebounding is a really really good way to do that and also dry skin brushing. So, um, so I jumped on the rebounder for a bit feeling still really foggy in my head. Um, then the second thing I did was to make sure that I rehydrate so I had a massive juice um, in order to you know just hydrate and feel way better and get lots of vitamins and uh, nutrients into me vitamins and minerals um, and the third thing was that I did an enema which we've spoken about already um, and some of the group that are on the trial at the moment are hopefully doing that I know some of them are doing it um, and actually I just felt so much better afterwards, loads better. Maybe took maybe another hour for the fogginess to really start going. I still had a little bit of a headache, but honestly it was just so good. Um, doing an enema will rehydrate you as well, um, because you know the water's obviously going in, it goes through the walls of your bowel as well. Um, as well as taking out all the rubbish. So that's my three tips for when you're feeling toxic, learnt by my own experience. <laughs> so first one again was movement, move, go out and do something, but particularly rebounding is really good. Jumping up and down um, gets the lymph moving. Dry skin brushing will also do the same. Second, rehydrate, make sure you get plenty of liquids in. Green juice is awesome, it's because it's very alkalizing. Make sure you put some lemon in there. Lemon water would also maybe do, you know, a good job. And the third thing is clean your bum <laughs> and rehydrate that way too. So there you go. So I'll be back with another video shortly. Bye.